man. Oof. These guys are shooting anywhere between 60 and 100 yard shots. Good God! You guys let them work! They might actually decoy! I'm just gonna end up getting beat up by a young, younger, stronger guy that has a bad attitude. <laughs> Well, this is hunt number four, and uh, we're gonna try to portage our boats today. We're using our new deer cart, which I'll show you in a second, and we're gonna portage our two layout boats in and see how we can do. It's just me and Dad today. Don't forget we just um, start, we just launched a uh, Patreon site, so in the description below you'll find a link to Patreon. Go over and check us out over there. We already have a few people signing up to that to get a lot of extended uh, content and uh, becoming an FDH insider, so um, head on over there. Also, don't forget, um, if you're on Instagram, it's at Freelance Duck Hunting. So we've got uh, our two boats here ready to go. Bumbles is ready to go. And we've got our deer cart, which we've never used this deer cart like this before. So we've had littler carts, so, um, and you can tell the bugs are nasty this morning. We've got a cold front coming in tonight. You know, we're going to put these boats on here and try to do a little portage. Oh, there we go. You know, there was a point in time when, when we were doing stuff like this and we tried to hide it from everybody. Remember that? Yeah. Now we're broadcasting it on the internet. <laughs> Here's how you can get in our spot and hunt where we hunt. Here's how to do it, a step two. <laughs> Just message us and we'll tell you where we're at. Is that heavy? Not too bad. It's not heavy, it's just some resistance to push. Yeah, man, that thing's a million times better than what we were using. Yep. So, we found the spot we're gonna be hunting. It actually looks pretty good. But um, we're on a public marsh and we didn't go all the way back in. It's really, it's like seven degrees this morning. We didn't exert the energy to go as far back as what we would during regular season. Um, and with that, we've got two different groups that we can just hear constantly talking, laughing. So we're a decent ways from them, but I could do without listening to guys laugh and stomp around and talk the whole morning. It kind of ruins the atmosphere a little bit for me. All right, well, it's shooting time. And... Uh, we saw, a, Elliot saw a tiny bit of movement, but uh, I haven't seen anything yet. Just got buzzed and some guys shot just as they went past us. I have no idea why we got ourselves in a situation where we're hunting around other people. Block of 20 was coming right towards our decoys. And these guys over here pot shot it at them at about 100 yards. At least, at least 100 yards. How, what in the world could they be doing to take that kind of shot? I, I, I don't know that I've ever seen anyone shoot a shot, try to shoot a shot that far. Surely something came, I don't think anything came into them. I think they were shooting at those birds. Well, two just landed in the decoys. And Elliot dusted it. Here comes another one. Here it comes. Yeah, it's out of range. <laughs> Stay. We got blood all over our face. Well, there's one at least. Sun is starting to come up. The you know, flock just flew over. Sky high. Those guys on the dike were peppering us. Okay, there's a group over there on the dam, which got to be 150 yards from us. And 
and they just sky busted a nice flock that came over. What makes them think that those ducks won't come in here, lower, circle, and come in? I mean, the, the first shots they're shooting are 50 plus yards. And by the time they're done shooting, they're shooting 90, 100 yard shots. I mean, they sprayed us with shot. And those ducks are just entering into the pool. So they give them no chance at all to circle around and go in on anybody. There's almost zero chance of a flock going over that dike anywhere along there and not getting somebody shooting at them. They probably would have come right down in here and started working. Yeah. Good God! My goodness. You guys let them work. They might actually decoy. There's one out in front of you, Elliot. Come on, Cam. Good God, keep it, keep it. Not gonna do any good. No. Just gonna get into a They're used to doing that. That's what they do out here. It's just a firing line sky bust row. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna shut here. I'm not gonna do any good getting these guys to stop. Yelling stuff isn't gonna isn't gonna stop them. We've got huge flocks coming in to the pool. As they come over, these guys are shooting anywhere between 60 and 100 yard shots. It's that's, that's what these guys are doing. They, I think they're coming here every week and it's, it's just a sky bust heaven. Our, our, our problem is that we came here. Yeah. There's more water here than normal. You're not going to be able to come out into this pool and get any shooting. My, my temptation is, is to be confrontational with them, but... I'm just gonna end up getting beat up by a young, younger, stronger guy that has a bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> and at my age, I'm probably not gonna be much yeah, help yeah, to you. Yeah. I mean, oh. I, I can sucker punch and groin kick in, with the best of them, yeah. but other than that, I haven't got much. Yeah. So I did holler, let them come into the decoys, and then they smarted off on a pass. They're in the decoys now, which their idea of them being in the decoys now was a 40-yard shot, by the way. Yeah. So you want to switch it up or? Yeah. Okay. We love hunting these pools in here, and we are really productive in this in this complex right here. But there's two pools. There's a front pool and a back pool. And um, our mistake today is that, well, I wouldn't really call it a mistake. We were heading towards the back pool. And when we portage back there, we can be pretty much all by ourselves um, in that back pool. But today it was so hot, and there's so many mosquitoes. Um, dad actually wasn't feeling very well as we were coming in and you know he's fumbles to 73 he's had some uh, stints put in his heart so we've got to be careful with how much we push him so we got back to this first pool and he was complaining about um not feeling well and and so we just pretty much had to stop short from where we were going it's flooded a lot more than normal we thought we could get away so that's the only real reason why we're in this front pool and we know guys sit on this dike and we know what they do. So now these guys back here, because I said, um, let them come in the decoys. Now they're making smart aleck remarks constantly. Um, because like I said, uh, uh, I should have kept my mouth shut and not said anything at all. It was my fault to do that. It's just so frustrating. Um, so cultures form at these marshes where it was just considered acceptable practice to sit on a dike and shoot 60, 70 yard shots and drop one bird out of every 20 shows that you shoot. And so for me to even make any comment to them was just stupid because it's, it's not going to change anything. It's just going to make them mad because this is how people do it out on this places like this. This is what they do. And really, if that's the way they want to do it and everyone does it out here, that's their business. I just don't want any part of it. It just ruins it. It's not a fun way to hunt to just 
sky bust and pass shoot and drop two birds at every 20 box of shells that you shoot. But, you know, I mean, it's a free country. If they want to hunt that way, they can hunt that way. Just certainly not any way we want to go about, go about our business. So now we just had two ducks coming towards our decoys and these guys back here are hollering about them coming into our decoys and just being so loud every second is just full of their mouths every second and they are flabbergasted that we didn't shoot a 45 yard shot oh good god what did we get ourselves into with this pool well, it's 8.45, we're about ready to call it a day. It's just, this is no fun at all. So we, we just gonna go with two. I wish we could have a restart on today. We would certainly pick a different place to hunt, for sure. This is the last time we'll ever try to hunt this pool. That's the end of this one. Uh, we definitely made some mistakes today that we should have done differently. But we did end up with the two, so that's it. Slacking on the job. 